Are you struggling to add a phone number field to your contact form 7 form and make it work properly? You're not alone. In this video, you learn how to add a contact form 7 phone field to your forms in no time and make sure they're working properly. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Here's an example of what we're creating today, a contact form with a phone number. We won't be building the whole contact form itself because you probably know how to do that already. If you don't, I've got a full tutorial for contact form 7 on this core functionality linked to in the card above and the description down below. It'll walk through building a whole form just like this. We're just adding in the phone number field in this video. How you do that is you have contact form 7 installed, I assume. If you don't, that core video helps you do that as well. We go to our contact forms. You pick any one of them. I'm going to pick untitled here change the name of it to add phone field and down below here where you want the phone field to go you can put it anywhere this first one is the name field this is the email field the subject field that has their names right here is the label this is the message box and down below I have the phone I'm actually going to move the phone a little higher so we can put it right below the email field and I'm going to copy this line I'm going to paste it right here you know why in just a second. And I'm going to copy this and paste it down below. All right. Your email, I'm going to change to your phone number. And right before this closing label tag, closing is denoted by the forward slash inside the tag. I'm going to click outside of that, click right before it, and then click on tell for telephone. You can choose to make this field required or not. You don't have to change this. This is for the contact form 7 form itself as a background variable. You don't have to change it, but you can if you want. You can give this a default value. So you could enter what you want the phone number to look like. Like that, for example. You can make that a placeholder. You can add an ID. You can add a class. This would help for styling the form later on if you want to. And then click on Save. That's all you have to do to add the phone number field to your form. Now it's up here, we see a placeholder. Once you click into it and start typing, the placeholder goes away. That's how placeholders work these days. So you can add their phone number, but a boop, phone number field is done. If you want that to show up in the email you receive, which you probably do, you're gonna to wanna to go to the mail tab. And I walk through all of this, all these tabs, except for this last one, inside the core settings of Contact Form 7. And I explain all this to you. So if you want more details on that, or if you wanna see that full walkthrough, it's in the card up above in the description down below. I don't cover pop-up settings in that video because that's not part of the core functionality. This is an additional add-on that I added for the pop-ups. Also part of a different video as part of this Contact Form 7 playlist, but not part of this video. So we have this tag here in black, and these are all grayed out. When it's in black, it means we haven't used it yet in our email. So I'm going to copy that tag, and I'm going to paste it down here. Phone number, colon paste it in. Now we have the phone number in the email we receive. Click on save and Bob's your uncle. Refresh this page. We're going to have an email with the phone number. Let's just fill this out. And we send the email. And while we're waiting for the email to arrive, go ahead and click like if you're getting value from this video. And also click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's check out our email account. Get a message saying thank you. It's sent. We have the email right down here. These other ones are previous emails for other videos that I've, I've sent. And here we have the phone number. It's just that easy. And if you want to get a hold of my super popular 17 point WordPress launch checklist that's been downloaded over 100,000 times over the years, there's a link to it in the description down below. It's going to help you flawlessly launch every one of your WordPress sites from now on. So check that out, it's totally free. There's a link in the description. Next up, check out the next part of this Contact Form 7 series right up here, or you can check out the whole playlist right down here of all the Contact Form 7 tutorials that I've made for you. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.